Hi, my name is Anson Dorrance. I'm the women's soccer coach at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And I'm here today to talk to you about uh, our competitive cauldron. Uh, this is an idea we actually stole from Dean Smith, the uh, legendary former uh, UNC men's basketball coach. And what was really cool when I was a young coach here at UNC is he would let me come watch his basketball practices. And what I absolutely loved about this was seeing how extraordinarily organized he was. And what I would notice is I would see these assistant managers scattered around the floor and every guy seemed to be recording something. If a guy hit or missed a shot, that seemed to be recorded. If a guy boxed out for a rebound or failed to, that would be recorded. Every single scrimmage, five on five up and down the court, it seems like there were winners and losers in these scrimmages. And it was unbelievable the amount of data I would see all of these assistant managers recording during the course of his practices. And then what was cool at the end of practice, you would see all these assistant managers sprint to the scores table. The head manager would be sitting there and you would see the head manager compile that day's practice data. You'd see Dean addressing the troops at the end of practice. He would turn around and by the time he finished addressing the team, the head manager would hand him a sheet of paper and there ranked in order was that day's practice performance, and I loved it. I was saying, this is unbelievable. What tremendous accountability. Uh, what a great way to drive players. What a great way to tell every, everyone that everything matters in practice. And I was thinking, we're going to steal this idea, we're going to soccerize it, and we're going to take it to a new level, and that's exactly what we did. And so every single year, we've tweaked with this stuff. We've tried to make it better and better and better. We've shared our ideas. In fact, uh, we shared our ideas in the first book I wrote, Training Soccer Champions. And let me tell you something really cool about this book. I'm at the White House in the summer of 2004, and uh, I am in a long security line at the White House, and I see this white-haired guy fighting his way through the line. And we're all these national champions, we're all meeting at the White House, and all of a sudden this guy gets in front of me, and he extends his hand and says, Coach, do you know who I am? I said, I'm sorry, sir, I don't. He says, my name is Pete Carroll, I'm the football coach at USC, and we use your book to train our football team with. I was thinking, you are kidding me, this is unbelievable for a football coach they would humble himself to admit to a women's soccer coach that they actually stole an idea from us I thought was just unbelievable. And then sure enough, between his transition between USC and uh, the Seattle Seahawks, he wrote this book. And the title of his book was Win Forever. On page 142 of that book is this idea that he took from us about competing and recording everything. And so obviously these ideas work. And what was really cool about this year for us is I root for uh, uh, two teams in football. I certainly root for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and I root for whatever team Pete Carroll is coaching. And this year was great for us, all of us Pete Carroll fans, because to watch him walk through that uh, uh, tournament and to win the Super Bowl in the fashion that he won it with is extraordinary. And of course, the elements in his victory in that Super Bowl was competitive fire. It wasn't that he had a roster much more talented than Denver. It didn't like me and his ideas were so much more extraordinarily sophisticated than his competition. But what was clear, even to the untrained eye of someone like me, is his guys competed like there was no tomorrow. And that's the fundamental principle that we're trying to teach with the competitive cauldron. Everything makes a difference. You are fighting your way to the top of the ladder in every aspect of the game, and it's that fight that's going to harden you psychologically and take you to your potential. We're always working on new ideas with this. We hired a great new assistant coach this year by the name of Jason Cisneros. He and I have been working on some new ideas on how to create uh, possessional games. We have promotion relegation uh, divisions in a 4v1 ladder and a 5v2 ladder and a 3v3 plus 1 ladder and you're promoted and relegated just like you would be in the EPL if you finish in the bottom of a group or at the top of a group and I love this because this means just like we're creating in the Dean Smith environment everything counts everything counts and the whole idea in this philosophy of training people with the cauldron is to make sure they appreciate everything in practice makes a difference to keep you on your cutting edge this is just another tool that we try to use to drive people to their potential and obviously you can design any sort of cauldron you like i mean pete carroll obviously has his with his NFL football team. We certainly have ours. I have coaches that have come to our team camp in the summer where we train coaches in our ideas about player development. They have developed their own cauldrons based on the level of the team they're coaching, even the sport they're coaching, like Pete. Uh, this is cool. About a month and a half, two months ago, my brother calls me up and he said, Anson, are you watching the Hurricanes? And I'm saying, you know, Pete, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually in the car driving somewhere. He says, this is unbelievable. I said, what's going on? He says, well, the St. Louis coach 
is talking about using your book to train his hockey team with. And here it was, uh, a hockey coach uh, that was comp com competing against uh, the Carolina Hurricanes was talking about, again, the principles in our book, Training Soccer Champions, to train his hockey team with. And this idea is being used across the board. Uh, I did a clinic recently for Terry Leskevich in volleyball here. We had uh, two of the top volleyball coaches in the country here, the Stanford coach, the Penn State coach here in volleyball. And uh, the question that I was asked most in the volleyball clinic was actually about the competitive cauldron. So this is an idea that works across the board. I didn't invent this thing. I stole it basically from Dean Smith. I soccerized it a bit, and obviously I wrote about it. Uh, but I want everyone to appreciate that everyone can do this. Um, we all try to create competitive fire and practice for our players. We all know that competition is the fundamental platform you're going to develop your elite players with. And this is just another idea to try to take your kids to their potential.